Cool. All right, I we're good. Yeah, we're good. All right, hi, I'm Sal with WBRU Providence's Exposure, and we have our first featured exposure artist, Hamilton Lighthouser. Hi. The first? The first. Wow. The first of many, hopefully. It's exciting. Yeah, it's very exciting. Welcome to Rhode Island. Thanks for having me. Is this your first time in the Ocean State? No. No, I've been here many times. Nice, okay. Beaches or? Uh, my brother-in-law lives down the hill a little bit, so oh. we come visit him sometimes. That's awesome. Nice, okay. So you're here with a brand new album. Yeah. What's the feeling been like leading up to the release? Uh, well, it took a really long time. I finished the record in, like, the fall, and it came out in the summer, so I had a lot of time to sit around and think about it. Um, so I guess I would say, like, a lot of anticipation followed by a lot of boredom. Yeah. <laughs> Good anticipation, though, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah? So it's a, it's your first ever solo album. Right? Uh, it is, yeah. So what was it like being, going from a band to a solo album? It's very uh, it's very strange feeling because at first it feels very sort of like liberating but then uh, seeing your own name written in print can feel oddly personal when it really shouldn't <laughs> be, you know? So it can kind of catch you off guard a little bit. Yeah, oh sure. And it's like out of a lot of really cool collaborators. Yeah, I had a really great bunch of people. Yeah? Friends, yeah. Yeah, so they're friends, so like how'd you find them? Because I know there's people who worked on Vampire Weekend and The Shins and... Uh, I found them all in different ways. I've met them all over the years, one way or another, and when I needed people, I, those are the first people I called, and they luckily all said yes and showed up, and it was awesome. That's awesome. That's great. Sweet. So you're here for Newport Folk. Yeah. So Newport Folk's had some big names. I think it's like the most famous is Bob Dylan. Saturday, Jack White is playing. Where do you fall on the like folk spectrum? Uh, you <laughs> what, you mean, where do I fall like in terms of where I'm billed? Pretty small. No, no, like, <laughs> no, like... Are you gonna be all electric or? You're oh, I'm going acoustic going today. Acoustic. I'm doing the opposite. Yeah, oh, okay. I think I'm really gonna make some waves. <laughs> um, I think I probably won't tell that joke when I get there. <laughs> <laughs> Test um, it out in the smaller yeah. audience. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited to go acoustic. It's it's big for me. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Small for everybody on. else, but big for me. <laughs> Um, that's great. So, and then you're headed off on tour. You're headed towards... I am. I'm going to California the next day, actually. Wow. Yeah. And then I'm going to Europe for like three weeks. That's awesome. So it's a long summer for me. What's the vibe of the tour going to be like? Is that going to stay acoustic or...? Uh, no. I got a band with me. It's a small band, but they're loud, so it, it, it's pretty fun. Nice. It's a good group. Yeah. Nice. And so are you going to places you've been before or are you going somewhere uh, new? Uh, all of the West Coast I've been to. Uh, I think I might have been to all these places. A lot of countries in Europe. I think actually, sadly, I have been to hold them. That's awesome, though. It's a nice return. Yeah. You get the touristy stuff out of the way the first time, and then... Yeah, I'm, I don't need to walk in around any more cities. I've been doing that for 10 years, 12 years. Fair, fair, nice. And um, so you mentioned you have kids. Are your kids going on tour, too? They are showing up at the end of the tour. It's always not that fun to have them there. <laughs> you miss them a lot, but they really are a handful. And when you've already got a handful of traveling around with your equipment, it can be too much of a handful. You okay. only have so many hands, you know? Mm. But they're going to come for the last show, which is very low pressure because I'm just guest guest vocaling with some friends. So That's great. Are they aware that their dad has like one of the coolest jobs ever? Um, I don't know if they... I guess my older daughter thinks it's sort of fun. She, she's come to a couple shows. She gets pretty excited. Last time she came, she was we had all the little kids of our band dancing on the side of the stage, really. And they all, like four of them, went to the bathroom in their pants. Because <laughs> they got so excited. Yeah, that would be a handful then. That is, I understand yeah. what you mean now. That's hilarious. That's great. So this is Exposure, so uh, we always feature like new artists. Are there any bands that you also really like that you want to shout out or want to let uh, people know about? New, brand new bands? Brand new bands, yeah. yeah. I haven't discovered a new band in a while. I got that record uh, by Angel Olsen that came out recently. I really like that. Yep. I don't know if she's new. Um, Old bands with new music. We well, like there's too. one. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> Alright, awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thanks it's for fantastic. Me. The Hamilton Lighthouse, or Black Hours is out now. Woo!